Struggling to create a responsive design in Figma? In this video, I will show you how to get familiar with responsive views and make your design look flawless on any screen size. Whether you are a beginner or a pro, this video is for you. Let's dive in. Here is my design and you can download it in the link in the description. So let's see what we have here. As you can see, I have my desktop frame here and a width it's set to 1440. And as you can see here, if I select and move it, it's not responsive at all. And the reason for that, because I didn't set any constraint for any of this component here. Now we are going to make all of these elements responsive and then we are going to create tablet and mobile version for it. So as you can see, I have my navigation bar here. But the question is how this element can behave when I make my screen the frame smaller or larger so what we want to have here we want to have our logo and also the menu item here in the top left and also we want to have the sign up and log in this call to actions is sticky on the top right so what we can do here I just select ungroup them and as you can see I have these two different elements here one is my content and another is the navigation actions I'm gonna select my content here. Be sure my constraint as top left. All right, if I select my frame now and resize it, this component, the content, gonna stay in the top left as it is. And the next element I have here is my navigation action. And if I select it here this time, I'm gonna set the constraint on top and right. And now look what's happened. If I resize my frame, this component stays as it is. And if I had some elements here, which I wanted to keep them in center, I would just simply click on them and for the constraint set as center here, which I will show you in the next element. So let's go on with the next component we have here. So here, as you can see, I have the background in my hero section. And if I resize the frame, it's not responsive here. And let's just quickly fix it by selecting my background, go to my constraint and uh, set it at left and right. Now, if I move it, it's responsive. So let's see what we have the next. We have this badge on top and we have our title, description and this button groups here. Now maybe you are asking why we are not grouped them all and set the constraint on a scale. But let's see what would happen here. So the content is overlapping each other and the button group is not responsive. So how we can solve this issue? By selecting my header and badge and the description and pressing shift and A on the keyboard. I frame my selection and let's call it content and set my constraint on a scale. And let's see what is the result. And here we go. We have the responsive component. And now we have this group of buttons that we want to make them a frame by pressing on shift and A. But they move to the right. So we need to have them centered. And then select the entire frame. And constraint set as a scale. And it's responsive now. Great. For the auto layout on tech, you should be sure that your text is set as field and if it's set as fixed let's see what is happening here so it's not resizing at all and same for the other text and you need to be sure that both of these components they are set as field and now we made it this illustration is my next component here and let's see how it works i need to select it all and put the constraint on a scale. But when I select and resize my frame, as you can see, there is a problem here. And it changes the ratio of my photo. But let's see what can we do to fix it. I just need to simply select my image and instead of crop, set it as fit. Looks what's happening now. Amazing. Just for the image, you, you need to be sure that you set it as fit because for instance, if you put it in fill, uh, it's gonna crop our image. Now we are done with the responsive view on desktop. If you make this a screen smaller, some components they are overlapping here. So let's see what's the solution for that. First, I'm going to set my width to 1440 as it was before. And then with Command D on Mac and Control D on Windows, we duplicate the frame and change the name on to tablet and set the width to do something like 716. All right, for my tablet view, as you can see, 
these items in navigation they are overlapping each other i want to just get rid of this call to actions i will get rid of these navigations in my component libraries look for the menu okay this is the hamburger menu i like i go to my background pattern i lock it because i don't want to have any interfere with components i just bring it and align it with what i have and here i set the constraint on top right okay let's see how it works tablet okay great this is good the next item here if you don't like the typography how it look like you can just select by holding option on your keyboard on mac you can resize from both sides and it goes exactly the same for your illustration for the illustration maybe you have issue for resizing it by pressing k on your keyboard you can scale the illustration or any component in figma so i just adjust it as i want okay looks good to me amazing and last but not least is my mobile view i just duplicate this frame by pressing command d on mac and control d on windows and set the name to mobile and change the width to something like 380 pixel so different component they just moved a bit and the only thing i need i need to just adjust them based on what i want And the rest looks good to me that's all great so that's all you need for the constraint and responsive on figma what type of problems you have just let me know about your problems in figma i will create a video about them and post it in my channel stay tuned thanks for watching